Hi, my name's Danny Corsa. I've been asked by Viking Optical to produce a short video on their universal smartphone adapter. Uh, in Digiscope and Circles, it's long been acknowledged that the uh, one of the future forms of digiscoping was in fact going to be phone scoping, which is taking pictures through your telescope with your smartphone. So there's many different smartphones out there as we all know and many of the other brand adapters um, have uh, one or two models of phone perhaps, either the iPhone or the Galaxy. So Viking have kind of made an adapter here that's pretty much universal with most smartphones on the market and not only that, with the use of interchangeable adapter rings can also make it compatible with quite a lot of scopes on the market too. So what have we got in the box? Well, you'll have an adapter ring of your choice, depending on which scope you have. We also have this base here with what originally has four claws on it. Um, I took one of mine off, didn't find I needed it. However, you know, if you wish to use four, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, this is the base where your smartphone will sit and this is where we put different adapter rings on. So, on the adapter ring, you'll see we have a few little notches here that um, will show us, or basically, well, sorry, will uh, we'll grip to the outside of the eye cup on the scope, like so when it's fitted. Okay. And on the back here, we also have some useful modules which will align up with these and that means that the ring will hold firmly in place when we put it on. So we put our adapter ring on like so and that's nicely in place then. And this little hole here we can, is used for the camera's lens to look through. So we find our lens and our camera and then we adjust it so that it's just lined up over the middle of the eyepiece, eye hole, and once that's in about the right place, we've got our claws on, like so. You don't want to over tighten these, they're made of rubber, they're not going to damage your phone screen at all. We'll just tighten those up, just so they hold our phone in the right place, like so. See the camera's lens is now looking straight through the adapter hole. Camera's nicely in place. All we do is we just push this over the end, like so. And all we do is we open our camera app and we can take pictures for our telescopes. Very, very simple. Now, uh, if I can make a few different adapter rings to um, work on some other scope brands, um, which I'll show you now. That was for the Viking ED Pro telescope. And I also have my Swarovski ATS-80 here, as many of us own. And all we do, we uh, get the different adapter in. Just going to take this out of here, like so. Put the mask on. There we go. And then we get the fitting for the ATS eyepieces. And put that into place. Give it a little twist so it's nice and solid. Like so, so it's and nicely in place, it's not going to come out of there at all. And again, then we go through the phone alignment process, which might be slightly easier this time because I get aligned a few moments ago. Make sure it's in about the right place. Our little claws over like so. And voila, it's back into place. And then push it over the end of the scope. And like so. Hopefully you can all see that. Fits nicely. When we don't want to take pictures, we can take this whole thing off with a handy lanyard, place it around our neck. And you can even use it whilst it's attached to your neck. So you don't even need to keep taking this on and off over the top of your head. Which is great. So, for those of you that are already thinking, 
okay this might be for me. Um, some little phone scoping tips. Um, always best to zoom the eyepiece or the, the scope uh, before the camera. Um, most camera phones are digital, um, digitally zoomed, so as soon as we pinch out, as we call it, um, the picture will become more pixelated. However, if you zoom the scope, then the picture quality on the camera, or on the phone, sorry, remains the same. Um, also, if you're an iPhone user, like I am, uh, you can actually use the headphones as a shutter release cable uh, by pressing, I think it's either the, the plus or the middle button, if you, you know, plug it in, press one, whichever one makes it take a picture, that's the one to use. Um, but that's very handy, you know, camera shake can ruin pictures, so, you know, wherever we can take our hands off the equipment, the better. And the headphones that you use are the, the ones that come in the box when you get the iPhone, which is um, really handy, so they don't actually cost you anything extra at all. In terms of cost, the Viking Universal Adapter is uh, retails around about forty pounds. Um, for those of you that haven't got a Viking scope or a Swarovski scope, um, as I have here, uh, say perhaps you might be a Leica or a Zeiss scope owner, um, it's worth just measuring across the diameter here of your eyepiece, so that you can uh, get a, a fitting for the adapter. In. Now, Viking make. Um, a few different sizes because they also make them for their AW scopes, eyepieces, uh, the RSP, the HD80 scope eyepieces, and also the Swarovski modular system ocular eyepieces. Now, um, a lot of the scopes nowadays have got very similar size eyepieces, so it might be that one of these adapter rings will just go straight on. Um, however, um, if it doesn't, then there are ways of just padding these out ever so slightly. Um, it's a little bit Heath Robinson, I realise, but it will hold on firmly enough to do a job for you. Um, apart from that, what can I say? It's, it's great value for money, it's simple, it doesn't baffle us with any particular science. Um, you know, it, it gives us all the opportunity to try a bit of phone scoping um, before we, we, you know, either dive in and buy other cameras and adapters or think about buying new scopes you know, this is a, a realistic option for, for anyone out there ok so thanks for listening if you need any more help with the adapter you can contact Viking Hales, uh, Viking Opticals right, at Halesworth and Suffolk at their showroom um, where you can also buy them or you can contact me via my website Danny's Digiscoping and I'll be happy to help you with uh, any queries you may have ok so thanks for watching and uh, Hopefully see you out there phone scoping soon. Cheers. Bye.